Hey everyone, today I'm going to go through the steps on making a top down, bottom up, Havel Roman shade. This video is just going to cover the aspects in making the top down, bottom up part. If you'd like to see how to make a standard Havel Roman shade, I've linked to that video above. At this point, I've already constructed the entire shade besides the top segment. In a standard Roman shade, the top segment is a different length than the other segments, but I've made it the same length and I'm sewing a pocket that is three quarters inch deep. The lift cord shroud tape is segmented the same as all other hobbles and I'm attaching it so it'll stay hidden behind the shade. I'm following the same procedure I do for securing the shroud tape to the bottom of the shade. Those steps can be seen in my other video, which is linked above. The metal ring is used to secure the lift cord and has been sewn in carefully to avoid breaking my needle. I'm also hand sewing the metal ring for extra security since two lift cords will be pulled through the ring. This part seems a little confusing, but it's the best way I could figure out how to secure the lift cord without it being seen from the front. First, I cut the extra fabric one and a half inches from the pocket rod. Then, I hem the bottom of the extra fabric to create a clean edge. The next step was to sew the lift cord tape to the extra fabric while excluding the front fabric. Lastly, I sewed the detached back section to the fr front, securing everything in place. At this point, you'll have two pockets, a smaller one on top for a plastic rod and a large one underneath for a metal weight rod. Another large difference between the top down bottom up shade and a regular shade is the fact that I needed to make a valence. I sewed two 47 by seven and a quarter inch pieces of linen together to cover my headboard, cord lock, and create a two inch pleat on either edge. Be aware, the measurements are specific to my window and headboard. To make the two inch pleats, I required four inches of total fabric. I pinned this, folded it together, and secured the fold with a zigzag stitch at the top of the fabric.
Once I was ready to assemble the shade, I attached my second set of lift cords that only go through the top ring that we already secured in this video. These cords are what allows the shade to move top down. The two sets of cords were then strung together through their respective cord locks, one on each side of the shade. I hope this was an informative video. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. This was a fun project, but it also took a lot of effort to get the shade functioning properly. Once I did, it was so amazing to have something that worked in our bathroom and now offers a lot of privacy. If you're tackling this project yourself, I would recommend taking your time and really thinking about it as you go along.